So what we're going to have a look at now is what do we do with our content? First thing we want to unpack really is the information that has been provided to us by the migration team. They've brought across the content from Interact 2, imported it, organized it within these folders into our learning materials area, the content area. And the first thing that they've done as part of the handover process is provide us with a page within this folder called the Migration Outcome Report. This page contains details of the migration optimization for this subject. Once you've finished reviewing the information and actioned what you needed to within it, make sure you delete it. So let's have a look at our migration report. It's telling me which subject it's been copied from. And it's telling the subject convener, there's a list of things for you to have a look at within this site when you're checking over the content. The first point is that if you've continued to make changes within your Interact2 site following this particular subject site being used and provisioned, it's not going to be reflected within this site. So any changes since this iteration of this subject will not be reflected in the content that you can see in Brightspace. So there may be some instances where you need to make those additional updates that have happened since that point. Any quizzes or tests that you had in that original subject site have been imported, but the question pools, your library, etc., they've been copied across, but they haven't been deployed. But effectively, all of that information that was sitting inside your Interact2 subject site is now sitting there waiting for you to look at in Brightspace for your quizzes, and that's going to take some scrutiny. Assessment information that you had previously in Interact2 Blackboard has been copied across, but not optimized. So they haven't done anything with it. It's probably been hidden and it'll need to be looked at and you'll need to think about what you're going to do with that content. But just at a glance, I'm guessing that if I scroll down in my folders that have been copied across, I'm going to find some that talk about assessment somewhere. There they are. So these have all been hidden, and that's because in Brightspace, we're deliberately trying to reorganize where our information for students sits so it's easy for them to locate. So we can't just have everything being dumped into the content area. This is meant to be for learning materials. If it's relating to assessment, we want it to be made part of our individual assessment items when we create those within the assessment area. If there's additional support material in and around those assessment tasks, I would consider organizing that information somewhere else, not within the content area. The point we're trying to make here is that we wanna separate out learning materials for students to find those under content, as opposed to assessment related information, communication related information, other support information for students. So, that's why within the migration report, it's saying we've brought across assessment information that was previously in Interact 2, but you're going to need to think about where that information really needs to belong in Brightspace. Next up, we've got uh, information around blogs, journals, and wikis. We don't have specific tools for each of those functions within Brightspace. You can use other tools such as the discussion tool to accomplish those functions. But if you had assessments or any reference to those sorts of tools, they're going to need to be changed. If you had printable versions of PDF content that talked about Interact 2 or had screenshots, for example, of Blackboard, those items will need to be updated and replaced. If you've had interactive activities embedded within your subjects, such as Mentimeter, Padlet, etc., those will need to be reset, which is not actually different from what we needed to do within Interact 2 where you had embedded interactive activities from another system, they did need to be reset each teaching session quite often so that new student responses could go in. That process remains the same within Brightspace. If you've got any within your site, then you're going to need to go in and reset those, clear the responses, and you may need to log a job, a show or ticket, for example, to get assistance doing that. Moving along, if there were any broken links within your content, those have been highlighted for you to have a look at. Any references to Interact 2 or Blackboard tools or terminology that couldn't be easily fixed has been highlighted for your attention. 
And in the instance where you've got Panopto videos, in this case from the report, they're talking about videos that needed to be moved into a Panopto master folder. So this is an example of the list of activity that the migration team has actually carried out, looked at when copying across content from Interact to into Brightspace. Now, if there's a problem with any of that, that the academic is going to need assistance resolving, they can't review and fix themselves. Then you'll see at the bottom of the report, there is a link to the DLT service request system. So Sherwell, which you can log and then get a learning resource officer or an ED, for example, to help you fix those problems. So you need to, as a priority, look at your master subject sites migration outcome report work through the tasks that have been listed there if they've identified areas that are problematic and then once you're happy with it that you fix those problems etc delete the folder which at the same point will then delete anything inside the folder but only do that obviously once you've fixed those issues